Hi guys, it's Jason here with another Humpy Report for you guys and today we are going to be breaking down the game that literally just ended um, just 20-30 minutes ago if that um, Oregon gets the victory over Wisconsin 28-27 to Whew, if you're a Duck fan that was some exciting football. We'll talk about everything. Um, that was a big play in that ball game. Oregon was down 17-14. Oregon comes out in the first drive, the best drive of the first half. They score seven nothing. Wisconsin takes the next kickoff um, and returns it for a touchdown. Um, it was pretty much a defensive battle, 10 to 7, to Justin Herbert. One of his three rushing touchdowns makes it a 14 to 10 ball game. Another good kickoff return by Wisconsin. Um, Les leads the next drive for a touchdown, 17 14 at halftime. Um, Hogan gets a block, block pump by Brady Breeze. To make it 21 at 17. You're like, alright, here we go. Hogan's got the victory. Wisconsin responds again with another long touchdown to drive 21 24. Um, Wisconsin adds another field goal 21 27. Hogan um, gets the ball, punts it to Wisconsin with about 10 minutes to go. And a fumble cost by Brady Breeze um, gave Ogan the ball back. Uh, Justin Herbert rushes in for the third straight time. 28-27. Ogan gets the victory. And it wasn't the prettiest game by Herbert. 14 out of 14 out of 20. Out of 20 on uh, 138. One interception to Jack Cohn. 20, 23, 35 on um, 180 sets. Um, one touchdown, one pick. CJ Vidal, 17, 46. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, 21, 94 yards. He finishes his career. Um, I think he got 2,000 and he just broke that. Um, Seabrooks, the lead in the wide receiver. Seven catches, 59 yards, one touchdown. And five catches, 66 yards. Hogan has scored a touchdown in every quarter of that game. And Wisconsin has scored in every quarter of that ball game. Let's break over the team stats real quick. Hogan was 3 out of 10 on the third down. Wisconsin 5 out of 17 on the third down. But yet 4 and three, four and 5 on the third down. Wisconsin now scores... Hogan by large margin, 322 to 204. Um, and uh, Wisconsin, 136 66. But the biggest thing in this bargain, four turnovers, one, one takeaway, um, nine penalties on Wisconsin. Really crucial penalty and offensive pass and offense that made. Um, Wisconsin punt the ball. Um, it was on the third down. It was a questionable call. Um, I'll say that at least. Um, the ESPN official, uh, the rules expert on the broadcast, said it was a good call. I get it. Um, Badgers fans, Beaver fans, they would be upset. I say Beaver fans because we all know Beaver fans want Oregon to lose, but. It's it's a type of game that Oregon doesn't win. Um, Chip Cody days, Mark Everett days, um, Mike Bloody, we we got some victories out and whatnot. But Oregon did not play well offensively, but they got the job done. They they hold up. They um, just kept on fighting, kept on fighting. Oregon wasn't down. Any more than six points on um, the defense really showed up, forcing the four turnovers. 
One of them was a black punt, black punt pick, and two fumbles. A fumble by Jonathan Mateta in the first first half. Uh, Jonathan Mateta has 18 fumbles. Um, in his um um very good career at um Wisconsin. Um, the the number one thing that I I take away and and I love about this victory. If you notice that the defensive player of the game, Brady Brees, and the offensive player of the game, Justin Herbert, with his three rushing touchdowns, both of them grew up in Oregon. Okay, it was um, the two top prospects coming out of high school back in 2014. Um, the the Oregon grown and won a... Um, I just love the, the fact that Oregon fought and just just continued it to grind and and I get it I get it this game could have gone the other way could have easily gone to Wisconsin but Oregon gets the victory they're your Rose Bowl champs and I'm I'm just happy that they won I'm very happy that Oregon won uh, did I say it? I'm very happy Oregon won. Um, knowing that Oregon gets the victory 28-27. And like I said, it could have gone the other way. Hats off to Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a very good team. And much respect for Wisconsin. Uh, they always have a good back. Always have um, a good offensive line and good running backs. And one not very very impressed by Wisconsin, but like I said, Oregon gets the victory 20-27. That springboard Oregon into the twenty twenty season. Um, and one quick now, um, Jimmy Newman, a um quarterback from Wake Forest, um, quarterback, um, the lead in the candidates to land um, Jimmy Newman is Oregon. So Oregon might have a chance for quarterback. So once again, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, whoever watches my videos, if you watch them for a minute, two minutes, for the whole video, I appreciate all your views. Um, can't wait to do this in the 2020. Can't wait for the next football season. I love football. Let's get it done. Um, Oregon, the future is bright. We lose a lot of people. But like I said, thank you for watching my videos. Have a happy new year. I hope 2020 is a great year to anybody, um, to everyone and anybody. And like always, go Dutch and have a great new year, guys.